The theater's so obsessed, the drama's so depressed, it's hard to sell a ticket on Broadway. Shows should be more pretty, shows should be more witty, shows should be more, what's the word? Gay. Exactly. Welcome to Lyric Theater's production of The Producers. We're putting on our interpretation of The Producers, which I think is our own little twist. Lyric's 41st season is starting with a comedy by Mel Brooks. It is a comedy of intentions, a comedy of errors. Greed and manipulation and love. Started out as a movie in 68, and then it was suggested to Mel Brooks that he turn it into a musical, which he did. That was a smash hit with Nathan Lane and Matthew Broderick, and then he took that cast and turned it into a movie. It's basically a show about a Broadway producer who's down on his luck and an accountant who is, shall we say, socially challenged. <laughs> Me? I'm not wearing any clothes. The accountant has this brilliant revelation that you could actually make more money if you produce a flop. I'm playing Ula Inga Hansen, Mensen, Janssen, Talon, Holland, Svon, and Svonson. I think people need to laugh right now. Just take a time out. We are going to have as much fun <laughs> doing this show as they did on Broadway. And so will you. And that's what's <laughs> going to happen with the audience. Totally a collaboration. Carol Wheel is a music director who really puts her personal taste on it. Donna Antel, who is one of the most fantastic choreographers. Lots of dancing, which is, you know, one reason I love the show. A lot of tap dancing, a lot of big production numbers. Donna, our choreographer, is just incredible at getting the best out of people. For me, the best enjoyment is, you know, creating the stuff and then teaching it. Huge show-stopping musical dances, everyone singing and dancing. This is a very costume heavy show. We have a sausage, we have beer stein. I'm an eagle at one point. Chorus girls, Bavarians. Glitzy prisoners, we have a man dressed as a Chrysler building. We have stormtroopers dressed sexy. It's an incredible, incredible spectacle. Think of the prestige. No, no, no. Think of the Tony. Tony, 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 Tony. I can't even begin to think about how many hours I put in, let alone everyone else. We'd practice a lot at home, we'd practice on off hours. Putting in four nights a week rehearsing or four nights a week at the warehouse painting set. For the last two months, I have been doing this 50, 60 hours a week. <laughs> We're almost dead. We're so tired. <laughs> Lyric is very committed to making sure that we have affordable seats so that a family of four could come to the theater for less than $100. It's a bunch of people getting on stage doing something that they really love to do. It's a bunch of people backstage making all the things that you see beyond the actors actually happen. Nobody gets paid anything. We're working for love. <laughs> Russian folk songs and French ooh la la. Can't compare with the German Papa. It is the 41st season of Lyric. Some of us have been around for quite a few of those seasons, haven't we? The Lyric family is the whole reason why I'm here 21 years later. I've been a part of Lyric for 30 years. You know, my parents went to the first show. By the second show, my dad was in that cast. Third show, my mom was in that cast. Fifth show, I was in the cast. Some of my best friends I have had for 30 years, and they are Lyric people. This is... Such a huge, amazing organization that you just don't find other places I've lived in. We say it all the time, you know, Lyric is a family, but we really are because we bring family members in. My oldest daughter, Kaylin, was cast in Peter Pan, and that's when we started on our journey with Lyric. Two husband and wife teams in this cast. We have mother, -da mother daughter, we have sisters. I was Mr. Bumble and Oliver, and my son Jonathan played Oliver. These people in Lyric come from all walks of life. The talent and the, and the passion and the commitment and the discipline. This has just blown me away, not only how big and beautiful these productions are and how much love and work people put into it, but how much love there is between people. And the family is part of what makes that happen. Everybody yeah. pulls together. Being a new person is really exciting. This is my first lyric show. Everyone's been really supportive and it's been a lot of fun. It's also good to bring in those new people so they can become part of the long range history. I definitely recommend anybody to come audition for lyric because it's a really fun process. <laughs> It's 
still working on being able to buy the building that we're currently using right now and then renovate it so that it will become a great rehearsal space. How critical it is that Lyric have a building that they can work out of, that they can share with the community, where Lyric can grow and, and foster the arts. We had a one and a half million dollar capital campaign that we were doing. We're at about the seven hundred and fifty, eight hundred thousand dollar mark. Whatever you give to us, I guarantee you is going to come back to you, and you're going to get a benefit from what you give to Lyric. Keep it gay, keep it gay, keep it gay. So I hope to see you at the Flynn with the producers November 13th through the 16th. Keep it gay.